Hey guys, it's Bub here. A few months ago, we took a look at Windows FX 10, which was of course not made by Microsoft, but it is a Linux clone of Windows 10. And honestly, it was pretty close. It looked almost identical to Windows 10, and if you put it on someone's computer who really didn't know what they were talking about, I really don't think they would be able to tell the difference. Well, those same developers have released Windows FX 11. Windows FX 11 is of course the new version of Windows FX 10, except this time it copies Windows 11. And so in this video, we're taking a look at installing and an overview of the operating system itself and comparing it to, of course, my host, Windows 11. And here we are booting off of the live CD. So right off the bat, we can see that the taskbar is not centered, but there really is no room to center the taskbar because of the lack of VMware tools. The background is the default Windows 11 background, and Overall, I mean, obviously we haven't installed the operating system yet, and that's when the review will really start, but we are, I'm very impressed so far. So going ahead and clicking on install system, we can see that this is the Windows FX installer. This kind of looks like the Ubuntu installer. I'm not really sure what to think of this. I mean, obviously this doesn't look like Ubuntu. This kind of looks a little unprofessional and unfinished, but I mean, this was basically the same thing as Windows FX 10. And here's something interesting. These are just screenshots from the Windows 11 keynote. I mean, we can tell that just because there's the time and the date down there, and this only has the time. And that is, I think, the Surface Pro 8. Yeah, this is just pictures ripped straight from Microsoft. This is not Windows FX actually running on these machines. And here we are inside of the Windows FX 11 desktop. And the first thing that I notice is that it is very much like Windows 11. The only major thing that really tells it apart for me is the Cortana icon because there is no Cortana icon on the taskbar in Windows 11 by default in the very large widgets section. If it fit the rest of the taskbar then I would obviously think that it was more of a clone than this. So taking a look at the icons we have trash which is the recycle bin, Microsoft Edge, and this I added that to install VMware tools. But that is basically what comes on a clean install of Windows 11, so props to them for that. We have our start menu, which I'll be interested to see if it has that animation. We have the search, which that does not look like Windows 10 search. Cortana, Hello, uh, Virtual Desktop, Widgets, Chat, Dolphin, Microsoft Edge, and the Windows FX Store. We also have a bunch of pre-installed stuff, for some reason AnyDesk. Um, no clue what that is. Discover, which is the App Store and of course our standard things like notification center and that kind of stuff. So first let's take a look at that start menu and I am impressed. They kind of nailed this down a lot. The search, I mean this looks identical. We have pinned and, and recommended and our start and our settings. Is settings even there? Okay so no it is just the power button um, but they did add those and I wish we had that on Windows 11. I think we do actually. Clicking on this doesn't bring up a logout icon, it just brings up user settings, which I mean that's fine. All apps goes to, wow this looks exactly like Windows 11. I'm impressed. The search like we noted earlier, this is not Windows search at all, this is a full screen mess. But that's fine because we do have search integrated here. And it, it doesn't look like the search actually does anything. Okay, it doesn't search the internet, it searches your applications, which is fine. Loa is basically the ripoff version of Cortana, but uh, no one uses Cortana anyway. Virtual Desktop is not... Okay, there we go. This looks very different from the Windows 11 one. Widgets is... Well, okay, so it does pop out from the left side, but it adds widgets to your desktop, I'm assuming. It adds widgets to your desktop and not like that's a widgets panel the chat i would assume this is just microsoft teams yeah this is microsoft teams i mean I'm, there's so many microsoft apps pre-installed in here we have dolphin which is been themed to look like the windows 11 um file explorer i mean i think it does a pretty good job the same icons i mean it's obviously a little bit different but it it looks the same we since microsoft has a microsoft edge for linux this is the official version of Microsoft Edge that they just included with this distribution, which is pretty cool. 
And then we have the Discover or the Windows FX Store, which isn't themed like the Windows 11 Store, which, I mean, I understand that. But overall, I mean, I'm very impressed with how this, this is. It's obviously a little bit buggy. I mean, I just clicked on the Start menu like 10 times to open it. Um, but it could just be because I'm running a virtual machine. System settings, I would be really shocked. Oh my, they did, they did it exactly like Windows did. Here's the name, the type of computer, the updates. This looks exactly like the Windows 11 one. I am honestly very impressed. And just while we're here, let's take a look at the Windows structure. For some reason, the bottom two corners are not rounded, but the top two are. But, I mean, they nailed it down. They have the X button, the maximize, and the minimize, which looks exactly like down to the T, like Windows 11s. And I have no clue what this glitch is here. But it looks like our desktop has just kind of freaked out. Anyway, ignoring that, I mean, this is, I am impressed. The cursor doesn't look identical. It does kind of look like a Linux one. But, I mean, I am very impressed. And if we hover over the maximize, do we get the icons? No, we do not. But it's okay because we do have the corner snapping um, if it wasn't so laggy. But again, could just be because I'm running a virtual machine. Now, I actually like this way better than the Windows calendar that's built in just because it it, it just looks better. for me. The Action Center is not really here. How in Windows 11 we click on like the networks and it pops up with a bunch of controls. This is just all separate, which, I mean, I don't really know how you would even copy that for Linux, but wow. I mean, I am truly impressed with this Linux distribution. Right-clicking, I mean, the menu doesn't look exactly the same, but it looks pretty close. I mean, this is, yeah, it looks pretty close. I am super impressed with this. I give, I mean, full credit to the Windows FX developers. They did a great job copying Windows 11, and if we could just fix that widgets and and fix the issues with the glitches, which also, like I said, could be because I'm in a virtual machine. I would totally even consider this as my daily driver because this is just amazing. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos and device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.